Okay, a special night. We are trekking into the depths of the forest in the Smokies because we are chasing fireflies. I've seen the synchronous fireflies a few times. If you haven't seen them, it's something that you need to experience to understand. It's Bree, my bestie's first time. First time. Are you I'm excited? Very excited. I don't know what to expect. Hopefully these conditions improve. We got to get this rain to move out to see a good show. So fingers crossed, stay tuned. Lucky enough for me, the night before, the show was spectacular under perfect weather conditions with more dear friends. So I'm taking this one, Miss Abby Ham, out to see the fireflies for her first time. I cannot wait. <laughs> We met our firefly guide, Wes, from Smoky Mountain Guides. He would be leading us into the woods. You're going to bring a chair each, and then I've got headlamps for every two people. So All right, we're gearing up. Good. Got, I, got the, I got the flashlight. Flashlight. Got flashlight. And just like that, we were off, following the path that would take us to the synchronous fireflies. Up to see the headlamps. <laughs> It was just a quick hike over the river and through the woods. We made it to our secret spot, got settled in, and then Wes filled us in on all things synchronous fireflies. All it is, guys, is a love is in the air situation. So the females cannot fly. So a female float this Carolina will climb right up on these top of these little weeds and she's feeling frisky and she's going to let out a little light that we can't even see the females. Okay. They're that faint, but the males can. And so Tammy's going to let her light out and Glenn's going to say, Oh, I see you girl. Uh, and then I'm going to say, well, I see her too, bro. And then Mike's going to say, well, I see her too. Um, and all the males basically start showing off, trying to catch the attention of that female. Um, and so what is the actual synchronicity is not the flashing. That's a common kind of misperception about these. The synchronicity is the when they go black. And typically the perfect night, you'll get about four or five patches of them that start doing their thing. And they're all, each patch is synchronized to itself. And then eventually, think you were here the night Cheryl that it did it Wednesday night they completely synced up and it was amazing because you got them all around you all at one time and then they stop and when they stop when they're doing really good you can literally count to seven and they come back on and they'll flash for about eight to ten seconds they're alive for 21 days and they all they do is mate they don't eat sleep nothing when they're adults they just mate for two weeks two three weeks so every night they're going to be doing this. Um, and to see a show of this nature, it's rare and unique. Um, Oak Ridge National Laboratory is actually trying to emulate the light of the Floatness Carolina. Can't do it. It's the purest form of light um, and it produces zero heat. It's the only light known on earth that actually produces zero heat. These fireflies are only found here and Southeast Asia. So pretty cool thing that we're getting to see. Pretty cool indeed. And just like that, we're sitting in the pitch black, waiting for the show to begin. And within minutes, the fireflies aglow. We're surrounded by thousands of fireflies, something that's too hard to capture through a lens, a once in a lifetime experience. The entire forest lighting up around us, truly magical. We watched mesmerized for over an hour. Guided by our red headlamps, we left the forest, but all of us with a renewed sense of awe and wonder. Okay, we just got done the show. First time, thoughts? I thought it was beautiful and I was at a firefly convention. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs>